Since the dawn of humanity, we have asked ourselves the greatest of all questions. How did all this come about? How did the universe originate? And how can something emerge from nothing? Every galaxy, every planet and every atom is part of a vast mystery. A mystery that continues to fascinate us to this day and whose answer lies hidden deep within the origin of everything. But to get closer to the answer to this riddle, we don't need to look to distant galaxies, but rather to the seemingly most inconspicuous of all things, emptiness itself. For in nothingness begins a story that is greater than the universe itself. Imagine we create the most perfect vacuum possible by physics inside a container. We remove every speck of dust, every molecule, every trace of light and heat. What would remain? One might think, nothing. A silent empty space, perfectly symmetrical, free from all movement, free from all energy. Pure emptiness. But nature isn't that simple. When we introduce two wafer-thin membranes into this nothingness and carefully bring them close together, something unexpected happens. They begin to attract each other. How is that possible? The answer lies in the quantum world, where certain the ants and possibilities dance. The vacuum is not empty space. It is a seething sea of fleeting phenomena, particles and antiparticles that appear from nothing in a fraction of a second and immediately annihilate each other. These constant fluctuations are the breaths of the universe itself. Even in the deepest darkness there is movement, even in silence, sound. However, not all of these invisible waves can exist between the two membranes. Some vibrations, simply, don't fit into the narrow space between them. Outside, on the other hand, there is room for more of these quantum disturbances. And so an imbalance arises. The space outside exerts more pressure than the space between. The membranes appear to attract each other. Not because they are actually pulling on each other, but because the vacuum around them pushes them invert. This subtle, almost incomprehensible force is what we call the Casimir effect. It reminds us that emptiness is an illusion. Even in apparent nothingness, a cosmic whisper rages, a constant becoming and passing away that touches upon the deepest secrets of the universe. Perhaps the vacuum, this nothingness, is not the end of everything, but the origin of all that is. So what conclusion can we draw from this? Could the Casimir effect, perhaps, be the key to understand the entire universe? What if we simply shifted our perspective? Wouldn't that broaden our intellectual horizons? Generally, we imagine the universe as something immeasurably vast, shaped by immense forces. But what is even the largest universe, the most comprehensive structure, compared to infinity. So let's imagine the universe shrinking further and further until its structure is barely recognizable. And let's shrink time in the same way until the entire lifespan of the universe is no longer perceptible to us. 
What conclusion would an outside observer draw? Universes would arise and pass away, without us even noticing. All we could perceive would be a fleeting interplay of forces and fluctuations, something that, in a suitable experimental setup, would likely strongly resemble the Casimir effect. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned and never stop dreaming of the universe.